And now I'm standing with Imani, who just won the Adelco for Best Director for Dr. May Edwin Chin, right? May Edwin Chin. Yes. May Edwin Chin, I'm sorry. And congratulations. Thank you. So Thank how you. are you feeling right I'm now? I'm really excited, very surprised. Why are you there surprised? Was a, I didn't expect it, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just glad to be nominated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. So, I really appreciate it. Why do you think that the Adelco is important for black theater, especially in acknowledging the work that you did with this production? Well, it's, it's really important because there's not a lot of awards for us and also because it was so hard to keep our theater going, mm -hmm. you know. So with very little funds, we do this and we keep doing it because we love it. Mm -hmm. And it's just great that there's somehow that we are recognized for mm -hmm. it and that we all get to come together also. And what production company did this? Uh, well, it started with Woody's National Black Touring Circuit and mm -hmm. it was done at the Castillo. Oh, okay. And then um, we did it down at Rockland Seaport Salon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank and you. Yes. Again, we are backstage at the Adelco Awards, and I am standing here with Akin Babatunde, who has just won the Adelco Award for Best Director for a Musical for Blind Lemon Blues, a show that I must say I thoroughly enjoyed. Thank you, Linda. And I'm so glad to put a, a face to you now because you gave such an amazing support when we did it the uh, second time, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Thank no, I just I, I thoroughly enjoy the show. Tell us a little bit, tell the viewers a little bit about what the show is about. It's about the um, legendary figure, uh, Blind Lemon Blues, the seminal blues figure who influenced the music of the Beatles. Um, Matchbox Blues is something that um, uh, a lot of blues musicians know about him. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and he's almost like their father figure, mm -hmm. where we as in, within our race, you know, we really don't embrace the blues like we, we should. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I know even myself, when I began to work on the musical with Dr. Alan Governor, I was like, oh, I don't want to do no daggone boring slave music, but my God, there's so much to it. Mm -hmm. And so that's who he is. And he was the biggest selling blues singer of the 1920s. And the first man, to, a black man, to create, collect royalties. Mm. Royalties for his um, 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 records from Paramount uh, Records. So he's an unsung hero, mm -hmm. hero mm -hmm. who everybody should know. Okay. <laughs> well, I know when I saw the production, I, I certainly learned a lot. Thank because you. Because I, I didn't know anything about him. And just the way that you told the whole story. Yes. It, you know, it was just really interesting and it was really wonderful to see. Thank you. So if you mount it again, let me know. I will. Thank <laughs> okay. you. And again, congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, here we are with Kent Gash. And Kent, you're here. <laughs> I am the director and co-author of Langston in Harlem, which okay. is nominated for Best Musical. Oh, wonderful. And which just won for Best Choreography mm -hmm. on for the great work of Byron Easley. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. So that Thank is, you. that's really great. What was Langston in Harlem about? Langston in Harlem is about the life of Langston Hughes mm -hmm. and his, the inspiration that he took from the people of Harlem in his writing and in his life experience. How Harlem really helped him to develop as an artist and as a man. Is the show still going on now? No, uh, we the first pr that production has closed, but we are revising it now and making plans for the future. Oh, okay, okay. Well, congratulations yeah. and best of luck for the the rest of the evening. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Now I am here with Yvette Heiliger, playwright, winner of the Viv for What Would Jesus Do? Yvette, what is the play What Would Jesus Do about? It's about HIV AIDS uh, and the black church. Mm -hmm. uh, it focuses mostly on the, um, the struggle that we've had to bring churches on board with um, HIV education and prevention within their own ministries. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now there was a play I remember um, that you had done in Winston-Salem prior to this play. What was, what was Oh, I did um, Hillary and Monica. The That's winter. right, yes. That was so funny. That was so funny. I, I love being in the White House. I did uh, <laughs> Hillary and Monica, The Winter of Her Discontent. Mm -hmm. And before that, it was Autobiography of a Home Girl. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So what are some of the works that you have coming up? Um, I have a new play about the black arts movement called Yvette X. Mm -hmm. It's a one-woman show. Mm -hmm. I used to be an actor a long time mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. And then I have a wonderful play called Operation Lisa Strata. And it's uh, Laura Bush engaging the wives of the architects of the war in a sex strike to prevent uh, the um, 
Iraq War Vote. So it's based on Aristophanes' play where the women try to withhold sex to get the men to stop fighting. Mm -hmm. So it's set back in 2002. It's very funny, body, sexual humor, mixed in with a lot of uh, important issues about the war that we didn't get to hear. Mm -hmm. The men probably had lots of fights about, you know, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. What did it mean to you tonight to win the, the Viv? Um, I have to tell you, producing theater is tough, and to be able to have a show in New York that has run long enough to be Adalco eligible mm -hmm. has meant so much to me. You know, I do shorter showcases, and as you know, and workshops and things like that. So, mm -hmm. to have a show running, and I'm so grateful to Marjorie Moon and the Billy Holiday Theater for mm -hmm. giving me a chance to have the show run for two and a half months. It's such a gift mm -hmm. for a playwright to have that opportunity, mm -hmm. especially for women. Right, you know, right. and I know Marjorie is known for doing that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So women get less than 20 percent of production op opportunities nationwide. Less than 20, and black women, women of color get even less than half of that. Mm -hmm. So the fact to have an opportunity is very significant. So, If people want to find out more about your productions, is there a website they can go to to keep up with your work? Yes, you can go to www.twinbiz.com. Because you have a twin sister. My twin sister and partner, <laughs> Yvonne Farrow. She's mm -hmm. also a nominee oh, okay. for actress, lead oh. actor tonight. Okay. So I hope she wins. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. I am standing with a friend of mine for so many years, Mr. Woody King, a new federal theater who just won the Adelco for Outstanding Producer. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Um, I've been listening and trying to get on your show for a long time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to win this award to get on. So thank, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. What are you, terrible? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, it's like uh, anything else, you know. Mm -hmm. You keep working at it, you keep working at it, and people recognize you. you when you're doing it, you don't think anybody knows we're doing anything. And all of a sudden, people say, oh, man, those 25 plays you did was... Oh, that's never been done before. But when we're doing it, we didn't know mm -hmm. that we were had to hire like 250 actors. We didn't know we had to hire 25 directors and mm -hmm. 30 stage managers. We didn't know all that. You know, you get in the middle of it, and you just gotta keep going. You know, mm -hmm. and um, thank you, thank you for noticing that. Thank you for reviewing it. Thank you for your work on the Scottsboro Boys. Um, now the producers are calling me. I really don't know what to say to them. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess they read it in your column. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Woody. But I think that's what we have to do as artists, mm -hmm. critics, uh, bring attention to uh, the best in us and the worst in us, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Well, how many productions have you produced over the years? About uh, two or three hundred. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And normally, what are the topics? What are the subject matters that you cover? Because, I mean, it's, it's so vast. Okay, mainly I deal with theater pieces that reach out to African Americans and women. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my, the household I grew up in uh, made me very much aware of uh, subtleties and uh, really nuances of black women. And they are beautiful, awesome, and different. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what uh, drew me to that. And um, the subjects that are uh, profound in American literature, subjects uh, that James Baldwin tackled on identity, Ralph Ellison tackled on our invisibility as a people, um, Richard Wright, the struggle, the struggle continues. Uh, but all of our artists, Writers, especially Langston Hughes's poetry, the beautiful work of Langston Hughes. I think I talked to you about it. Mm -hmm. uh, he had done a Scotchboro piece way back. You yes, know? yes. Um, but that's, that, those are the kind of subjects I tackle. Mm -hmm. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I know that so many people have told me that they owe so much to you. Yeah. Because you gave them jobs and you gave them a chance. And the different female writers, you gave them a chance for their work where they wouldn't have had that chance. Mm -hmm. but, the, but their work needed to be seen. Yes. It was not like... Uh, uh, any kind of uh, altruism on my part. It was like, you look at this play, this is a brilliant play. Mm. It happened to be written by a woman, so it was brilliant, you know. Mm. Or a director like Imani, brilliant, you know. So I said, let me go to her with this Dr. Mae Chan. You know, it's a play about a woman, about a doctor. So those are the kind of uh, things I do. Mm. But you remember, you came down 
-hmm. when that Black History Month thing was closing and you gave us that push we needed at the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.